Often as coaches, we don't realize that we have to manipulate pole speed in order to accomplish a certain drill or task in practice. In this video, we're gonna go over how you can adjust grip or pull um, to get the desired pole speed for the drill or jump. In the next few videos, you're gonna see an athlete that's doing our two left overhead carry drills. Um, and we're gonna show you blow through pole speed, which is great for, for horizontal jumps. And then we're gonna show you full jump pull speed, which is what you want when you wanna do a full jump and try to clear a bar or wrap a bungee. In the first video, we're gonna have this athlete do a takeoff drill. He's not even gonna swing. But let's watch that video again in slow motion. Pay attention to the pull speed. Watch how quickly that pull goes past vertical and accelerates past vertical. This is the pull speed you need if you wanna do horizontal drills where you swing deep into the pit. Now we grip the athlete up and we slow down that pole speed watch. Just barely gets to vertical. Let's watch in slow motion. You can see he hits, the pole gets to vertical, but it's really slowing down. That's the type of pole speed you need for full jumps. So now we've gripped our athlete down and they're gonna do a swing drill. You can see in the slow motion, Great pole speed, and he can really focus and work on his swing and land deep into the pit. If we tried doing this with the full jump pole speed, it would not have worked well. Now, he's gonna do our swing to the belly drill. This is where you, you do your takeoff, swing, and then turn, land on your stomach. Again, you can see the pole speed is great, and we didn't grip him up at all, because we wanted to keep that pole speed so he can really focus on the drill. Now, we even took it back to a three, gripped him up, went on a pole that's gonna bend, and we see that full jump pole speed, and a full jump. You can now watch it in slow motion, and again, you can see take off, the pole gets to vertical, but not, not much past vertical. That's why it's an appropriate pole speed for a full jump. Things to watch when you're doing these type of drills, you gotta watch the pole speed. Is the pole moving? Also, watch the swing speed. How do you watch the swing speed? Watch hands and hips. Are the hips moving through the jump? Hopefully this video made it easy for you to understand how you can manipulate pole speed and adjust it in order to get your task done for the day. If you wanna do long horizontal jumps, keep that pole speed fast. If you wanna do full jumps, you wanna just get into vertical. Um, thanks, and if you have any questions, again, um, email us at apexvaulting at gmail.com check out our website apexvaulting.com and make sure you follow us at the real apex vaulting on instagram